The pressure for the younger generation to be perfect is becoming a bit worrisome. It's an issue as social media continues to influence our children. I took a look at what's creating this pressure and what lawmakers are trying to do to protect kids online. Being a teenager can be stressful. There's also a pressure for perfection. In fact, there's a new study out that shows just that. Now it gets a little extreme sometimes. Like nowadays it's really about a trend and who dressed the best. Ask almost anyone in Huntsville and they'll tell you things are different now. Everybody want to have this certain standard where they feel like if they don't do this, then they're not going to get as many views. According to a Gallup Walton Family Foundation study, one in three Gen Z kids feel like they have to be perfect. When it comes to gender breakdown, 40% of girls feel the need for perfection. That's 14% higher than the 26% of boys. They probably are too focused on the outside instead of the inside. You know, um, I work with kids and teens in therapy, and I see a lot of my girls care about their makeup refrigerators or their skincare, the right logo or the right look, right? Um, and that's how they seek approval. Experts say social media can be tied to mental health issues with teens. Dr. Kathleen Hesterman, a dermatologist, says she's seeing the need for perfection quite often. I'm seeing a lot more people come in asking about their pores, and that's not something that I used to hear about. They want to minimize their pores, get rid of their pores, and I do think that comes from filters on social media. Sometimes parents ask her to step in and help. They'll come in and say, I'm telling them they don't need to do all of these things for their skin, but they want to hear it from a doctor. They don't want to hear it from mom. The last time a law passed regarding kids in the Internet was before Facebook was even a thing. It was the late 90s. This past summer, the Kids Online Safety Act passed the Senate. It's now a question of whether it'll go to the House floor before the end of the year. These bills will provide the appropriate guard rails necessary to protect kids against online threats. In the legislation, teens would have the option to opt out of the algorithms. Plus, it could give parents more control over kids' information. In a separate move, Instagram recently made a setting to make teenagers' accounts private. Addressing the pressure head-on is something that some would like to see. I work with anywhere from 12 to 18, and that's a lot of the concern that they face and talk about. You know, and that's pressure. That's really heavy. And I hate that that's all they care about when there's so much more to them.